Cauliflower? Kale? She asked, very surprised. Kale? Hello, Cauliflower? Cauliflower? K. Kale? B. But what are you doing here? Kale? Well, I came because I wanted to see you. Cauliflower? And how did you arrive? Kale? Miss Fattis brought me. Ha ha. She said, a little nervous. Cauliflower? Oh, I see. She said, not realizing that she was lying. Ha ha. For a moment, I thought they had brought you the useless ones from Universe 7. Ha ha. But how crazy, how could I come up with that? Kale, yes. Ha ha. D don't say crazy things, Cauliflower. I don't even know them. Cauliflower? Yes, you're right. Although you look nervous, Kale? Kale. Why yes, we haven't seen each other for a long time, and it's also cold out here. She said, hugging herself. Can I come in? Cauliflower? Sure, of course. She said, stepping aside, messing with her sister. Well I'm glad you're here Kale. I really missed you, she said, hugging Kale tenderly, but in her eyes, you could see other intentions. Kale, D did you miss me? She asked, a little blushing. Cauliflower of course, you're my little sister. Also, I wanted to apologize to you for the last time. You know what I mean. I really didn't spend a day without thinking about how stupid I was. Forgive me, she said, hiding in Kale's chest. Could you forgive me? Kale, Cauliflower, one, I will always forgive you. No matter what happens, I will always be there for you. She said, hugging her. Cauliflower, aren't you angry? Kale, of course not. I'm very happy to hug you again. I can finally feel you close to me. You're sent, she said, letting herself be carried away by her feelings. Cauliflower, you're the best, Kale. Kale, it's not true, you're the best. Cauliflower, ha ha, it's good to see you again, sister. By the way, tell me, how has the lair been? After my farewell. I guess you took charge. Kale, of course. You should see. Everything has improved a lot. It seems more and more civilized. People are getting happier. There is no longer so much poverty, and there are no more wars. I have planned to expand our territories, and when we return, we will unite the peoples of all Satala and finally overthrow the pathetic king of our planet. Cauliflower, shall we go back? Kale, yes, when we go home, and get back together, and do what we always did. Cauliflower, ha ha ha. You were always very tender, Kale, and very innocent. But I'm not going back. Kale, B, but why? Cauliflower, because here I am a queen, here I have what I want at the moment I want it, I have power. Everyone fears me and no one can rival the strength of my king. Kale, B, but you always longed for the good for everyone. You always helped others, you were a heroine for the peoples of Sadala. If we stole, it was for the people who needed it. Cauliflower, that's already behind. Besides, I always wanted to rule over everyone, but how to govern when your subjects can barely survive? I never did it because I was an angel of peace, I did it because I thought that way I could become queen, but I realize that it is useless to be good and kind when you can't have the power. Kale, so you're here because you have power? Cauliflower, in part, yes. I'm a goddess here. Although Goku's friends still believe that Goku and I are not happy, even those stacky idiots don't understand that my future is next to my Goku being kings of this paradise. She screamed as she was getting crazier and crazier. But I know they're up to something, and I'll find out and end their hopes. And when I have them at my mercy, I will enjoy taking their lives one by one. When Kale heard those words that came out of Cauliflower's mouth, she couldn't believe it. When she came with the warrior Z, she never imagined seeing her sister so bad. She thought it wouldn't be that bad. But now that she sees her, it's just scary terror. Her eyes were increasingly filled with horror and tears of sorrow. Her lips began to tremble, and her feet retreated every second, as if she wanted to escape from reality, but her step was stopped by the Saiyan's chest. Kale, Mr. Goku? Cauliflower? Ah, I see you ran into my future husband. Kale, F future husband? Cauliflower? Yes, I'm going to get married after we kill all the scum on this planet. Kale, shall we say? Cauliflower, of course, now that you're here it will be much easier to deal with the fools of Universe 7. In addition, you will also be queen of this place. You will also have power over humans. We can govern together as sisters. Don't you like it? She said while hugging her by the neck. Kale, eh? Of course, sister. Cauliflower. Imagine? When we want something, we will have it in the palm of our hands just by snapping our fingers. And with my Goku on our side, no one will be able to do anything. It will be perfect. Kale, are you sure you're doing that? Cauliflower of course, I'm tired of just governing a shitty town in Sadala. Here I have a whole world in my hands. She said while clenching her fist, 
Now get ready. We're going shopping. You will love the clothes they wear here. I must admit, they have very good taste. Kale, and where are we going? Kalifla, I don't know, the first town we see we will attack, like in Satala, sister. Stop asking, and let's go. Although thinking about it, I would like to visit a place that I want to show you. She said, leaving the mansion followed by the Saiyan. As soon as the pair left the mansion, Kale contacted Bulma to warn them about a possible attack on one of the cities. After cutting the transmitter, Kale began to fly with her sister, who was on Goku's back very affectionately. Although she did not want to accept it, it bothered her that Kalifla was next to Goku all the time. She felt that her jealousy burned her inside, but all that changed when she saw the landscape that was painted as they advanced. Now in her eyes an immense horror and a deep fear were reflected, because the cities they flew over had been completely exterminated. A red color traced pools of blood, not to mention the fetid and putrefactive smell that invaded the entire area because of the thousands of corpses lying on the ground. The worst thing is that the same scene was repeated over and over again. It seemed not to end the cruelty and the massacre that the girl made in her tantrums. Southern City. Kalifla. And we arrived. Kale, I present to you my future kingdoms. She said while raising her hands, showing hundreds and hundreds of humans being mistreated and forced to build what looked like a castle. Doesn't it look beautiful? Imagine when we dominate the whole world. We will reign over all these idiots. It will be my greatest achievement. Kale, yes. It looks good. Kalifla, what do you mean well? She asked, a little angry. This will be a work of art when it's over, and this will be just for us. X, gentlemen Kalifla, here is the progress of the construction. It is expected to be completed sooner than expected. Kalifla, really? X, of course. You will see that soon you will be able to reign over us, my queen, he said, bowing. Kalifla, that's my subject, but, do you know what bothers me more than being interrupted when I'm talking? X, why I apologize for the interruption, my lady. It was not my intention. Kalifla, answer. X and no, I don't know, my lady. What bothers you the most? Kalifla, bootlickers, she said, kicking the slave's face. X, uh, excuse me, Miss Kalifla. It won't happen again. Please don't hurt me. I swear I won't do it again. Kalifla, no, you won't do it again, she said, grabbing his head. Come on, Kale, she said, testing her sister's loyalty. Kale, what? You're crazy, Kalifla? You know we don't kill when we steal. Kalifla, yes, but this is not a robbery. It's a murder. Come on, Kale, do it. Kale knew that she could not escape from this, and had no choice but to obey her sister. With every scream Kalifla gave, Kale trembled, and her legs became like jelly. When she took the slave in her hand, she saw the fear reflected in the eyes of that person, their heartbreaking screams, asking for mercy, begging not to be hurt. Kalifla only screamed more, making Kale more nervous. Totally desperate, Kale pierced the human with her hand, leaving that scene captured in the depths of her memory. Kalifla. Well done, Kale. Keep it up and you will be a great queen. Now let's go shopping. As soon as Kalifla left with Goku to the next city, Kale began to shed tears inconsolably. She had never killed someone in cold blood in her life. She felt different, as if something inside her had fragmented. Her mind had really been damaged. She was totally traumatized. POV Kale. What the hell did I do? Why did she force me? Damn, I didn't want to do it. The man didn't even deserve death. Why the hell did I do it? How bad is Kalifla to kill someone just for making the slightest mistake? For all over the sky, what the hell is wrong with my sister? I tried, and tried to convince myself that even my sister had that compassionate side that she always showed to have. But the reality was already different. The Kalifla I fell in love with died. I really want to help her. But with everything she has done, I don't know if I can still bring her back from that border of death, hatred, and destruction. I hope to return to my sister, but now I only feel terror and a lot of fear. I was still on the floor crying and trying to comfort myself when suddenly Mrs. Bulma's transmitter began to sound. A beep was heard accompanied by some indications to be able to listen to Bulma. As soon as I pressed the transmitter, I began to hear Bulma's voice, very distorted. Bulma? Kale? Kale, are you there? She spoke with a lot of interference. Kale, what does Bulma want? I asked, devastated. Bulma, we need to know what they give Goku. For that, you will have to tire Goku. Tell Kalifla that. Damn. Leave me alone. I screamed, full of despair and anxiety. Bulma, are you, okay? Kale, what happened? It was Kalifla. I didn't want to do it. But she forced me. I really didn't want to hurt him. 
he just screamed, and Caulifla too, and I couldn't anymore. Bulma, calm down, Kale, breathe. What happened? Caulifla made me kill someone. I shouted in pain. Bulma, it can't be. That damn. Don't worry, Kale. I need you to focus. You didn't kill him with intention, but I still did it. Bulma, listen, Kale. You didn't kill him, it was Caulifla. She is the cause of everything, and you must end this. You can't stay on the ground. If you finish this, we can revive all the people that Caulifla killed. Did she say revive? But how is that possible? Do they have the super spheres of the dragon? End of the POV Kale. And how do you plan to revive them? Bulma. That's the least of it? What matters is that you finish this, Kale. It's the only way you can help everyone. You'd be a heroine? Kale. I just wanted to help Caulifla. But now what I see in her is horrible. Bulma. No, Kale. You must not give up. You can still help her. You must not abandon those memories with your sister, because of her ambition for power. I know that you can help her, and that you will finally be able to live by her side with a shared love. But you can only achieve it if you do what I tell you. Kale. It's okay. She said with a sigh, cutting the transmission. Capsule Corporation. Vegeta. Why do you keep insisting that she has to help her sister? She's already demented? Bulma, I'm aware of that. But it's the only way to encourage Kale to do this. Otherwise, she wouldn't help us and might desert at any time. We must give her a reason for this mission, even if we are deceiving her. I'm not proud of what I'm doing but, I can't stand not seeing my family anymore. She said, starting to cry, to which Vegeta hugged her in an attempt to comfort her. Returning with Kale she, with many intrigues, went with Caulifla, who was already in a city that was not yet destroyed. Both went down to a clothing bazaar. Several hours passed, and the girls had left the place with several bags and boxes that Goku was carrying. For a moment, between so much joking, and so much tranquility, Kale began to have a light of hope that her sister could still be good, and end this. But something left her perplexed, because Caulifla had destroyed the whole town with Goku's help, reducing the whole area to dust. Apparently, Kale's hopes are getting smaller and smaller with every action her sister takes.